All right, team. We just made our first stop in Tennessee. We are in Montgomery Bell State Park, about an hour outside of Nashville, and we have two amazing recipes to cook up for this stop. Uh, Lindsay is gonna cook up the first thing, and it's a little bit biscuit and a little bit donut. The crazy thing they call a bonut. She's gonna actually cook that in a cast iron skillet over a roaring hot campfire. And I am actually gonna do buttermilk marinated fried chicken. And we're gonna take a little bit of that fried chicken and turn it into some Nashville hot chicken. So let's finish getting set up and let's get to cooking. For our fried chicken, we've decided to go with uh, leg thigh quarters. Here, we're gonna cut those down, take a nice sharp knife, find that joint in between the leg and the thigh, cut them down in individual pieces, put them in our cryovac bags, add in our fresh buttermilk. We've got some Tony Cachery's Creole seasoning we're gonna put in there, as well as some fresh ground Himalayan pink salt and some fresh ground black pepper. They'll be nice and marinated. We'll seal them up in these food saver bags and let them marinate for about 24 hours before we fry them up. These are all done now. We'll let them marinate for 24 hours. Let's check in with Lindsay. It is nice and chilly out here in Tennessee, so I wanted to do a little campfire cooking with you guys today. I've got my great cast iron here that really stands up and holds temperature, and we're gonna use that to fry our, our bow nuts. We had some extra Grand's biscuits and thought that would be really fun and easy to utilize. And we're just poking a little hole, stretching that out so we have a nice donut shape while we're getting that fire hot in the back. I've also made a couple of toppings for our bow nuts. Van obviously is a huge chocolate fan, so he requested some chocolate glaze. So this is just chocolate powder and some vanilla, powdered sugar, and a little bit of milk. And I'm going with a very simple cinnamon and sugar, just regular granulated white sugar, some cinnamon. And we got the fire getting hot. We're gonna get our oil ready to go and we're gonna make some bow nuts. Donut cam. So, if you like donuts and you like biscuits, you've got to get yourself a bucket. So good. Ooh. All right, back to the chicken. We've got our buttermilk marinated chicken that we cryovac yesterday. So that's been in there for 24 hours. Should be nice and flavorful. Got some peanut oil going. A little uh, chicken breader. Here we got to start with the thighs first. Got our peanut oil hot. It's at about 325 degrees. Make sure you shake off the excess breading that you got on there. Let's get it wet. You don't want to do too many pieces at once. You want to cool down your oil too much where it can't recover but we at least be able to put two to three pieces at a time in here. Obviously, you gotta be cognizant also of uh, your oil, so you don't wanna overfill your pan of oil because it is gonna bubble up. And fried chicken y'all. So when you pull your chicken out, you want to give your oil a little bit of time to recover. Don't throw your next batch in right away. Obviously use your thermometer. But you really want to let this recover, get back up to 325. If you throw your chicken in right away, your next batch, it's just not going to be as crispy. It's going to take longer and it's going to be greasier. So don't be in a rush. Give it a couple minutes. Let that oil come back up to temp. Time to throw these drummies on in. So same thing, wanna go ahead and shake off your excess flour. We let our oil, our peanut oil come back up to 325 so it's ready to go. Shake this excess breading off. Let's give you a bath. Oh yeah. We've got a little bit more room with these drummies. So start with three or four. Don't we'll overload. Primo. So I'm gonna take this inside. 
it's time to make our Nashville hot chicken mix. We've got our seasoning here, a little custom blend of spices that I put together. What you want to do is you want to take your hot oil. So while your oil is still hot, still nice and hot and bubbly, chicken's all out, but you want to take a couple tablespoons of that and you want to put that in and mix that with your seasonings, right? Give that a nice mix around, stir that up really, really well. Nashville hot chicken, you want to toss that in into the oil and then you basically just baste it. And you toss that seasonings in those oil and you get it nice and coated. The more seasonings you add, the more flavorful it's going to be. Obviously, you want to go to your spice level. <laughs> I'm going to need a moment. <laughs> That's so good.